Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew and this is Let's Talk Tools. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys how to drive a screw through a piece of lumber without splitting the wood. Now, this is gonna save your projects that you've worked so hard on by not having to start them over and scrapping them. Now, before we continue, I just wanted to take a minute to thank Matthew over at unpluggedmounts.com for sending me these awesome 3D printed mounts for my tools. These mounts were so easy to put up in my shed. As you can see, in a few minutes, I set up at least 10 different mounts. Now, they are lightweight, they're sturdy, and they look great basically wherever you want to put them. And he even offers these mounts for most of the major tool brands. So if you'd like to try them out for yourself, head on over to unpluggedmounts.com and use code LTT5 at checkout for $5 off your order of $25 or more. All right, first we should talk about why a piece of wood or lumber splits when you drive a screw too close to an end or the actual edge of the board or the piece of lumber. So what happens is when you drive the screw into the piece of wood, the as it turns down into the wood, the threads of the screw actually force the fibers of the wood apart. And that's what causes the wood to split because it's making room for the screw inside the wood. And so depending on where in the piece of wood, you're not gonna have it every single time happen like this, but depending on where in the piece of wood you put the screw, more than likely you're gonna end up with a board that splits. So, right here, we're not at the end, we're right in the middle of the board. And so that one didn't split. Now, luckily that didn't happen to us and we actually saved this piece of wood for our project. But like I said, more, like, more often than not, you're going to end up splitting wood if you don't first drill a pilot hole. So to avoid splitting, the, splitting wood, especially here towards the, the ends, what we're going to do... Okay, so to avoid splitting your wood, all you need to do is drill a pilot hole in the wood first. So to drill a pilot hole, first you're going to need to grab, get a drill bit that's slightly smaller. Okay, there it is. So you're going to want a drill bit that's slightly smaller than the actual shank of the screw. So that way, the threads of the screw still have a way to tighten into place in the hole rather than pushing the fibers of the wood apart. Alright, so we're going to place the drill bit into the chuck of our drill. Tighten that down. And then find your place that you're gonna be driving your screw. And you're going to... You're going to drill the hole into the wood. So now that you've done that, you're ready to actually drive your screw. And you can drive it in there without any fear of split in your wood. It's as simple as that. Now, you did probably notice that I am using a impact driver and a drill to do this. Now, the reason for that is because I, I'm doing it to save time. So, instead of having to, you know, drill your hole, take out your drill bit, then insert this driver bit, into the drill, tightening that down, driving your screw, then you got to take this out again and put the drill bit back in. It's very tedious. You, you're wasting lots of time and you know, time is money. Your time is valuable. So what I like to do, drill, pre-drill all my holes with the drill driver and then drive all my screws with my impact driver and it saves time it's handy uh, you're not really having to do any kind of major changes as far as in the chuck or in the collet so I mean again you could do all your work with a drill you'll just be you know changing out your 
your drill bit and your driver bit pretty often. But if that's, I mean, if you, all you have is a drill, you definitely can pre-drill your holes and then drive them in with that same drill. But I mean, why not make your life easier, right? Okay, so now you're ready to go out into the real world and drive your first screw. But first, I need you to like this video if you found this information informative. And then I need you to comment down below and tell me what is something you're going to be doing with this new knowledge of how to drive screws. Now, if you like this video and you want to see more of my videos, please consider subscribing to the channel and turning on notifications so that way you can stay up to date with my new videos as they come out. Now, this is going to wrap it up for today's video. So I thank you all for stopping by and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.